The date was 24th October 1838. Bishop Joseph Ray officially approved the congregation and christened it as missionaries of St. Francis de Sales, today known as Francalians. The servant of God, Father Peter Mormia, the founder of the missionaries of St. Francis de Sales. The first band of missionaries had to sail to India. Go to the ends of the earth and preach the gospel to all creation on September 8, 1845. The missionaries were given the vast area of Vishakapatnam mission. The first missionaries had to face enormous difficulties, walking long distance, traveling on bullock carts, learning new languages, weakened by poor and scanty food, famines, malaria, epidemics of cholera and so on. In the following 50 years, there came from Europe 62 priests, 17 brothers and 15 seminarians. The energetic and fervent will of the confreres has led them to extend their mission. the whole world and proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. A Francalian envisages an effective change in the society and this dream is actualized in our day-to-day -day activities. On sensing the need of the hour, a Francalian has responded very effectively. Francalians are actively involved in empowering women, depressed classes and enlightening them of their rights and duties. He is very enthusiastically working among the remotest tribal areas of India and Africa. Not only providing them education, but giving them meaning to their life. Children are the future of tomorrow. The MSFS in 1986 leaped into an innovative ministry of uplifting the most neglected sections of the society. Accordingly, Snehalia the home for the handicapped was opened to love and care and to make them feel wanted in the society. The poor street children who live in indignity and destitution are very well taken care of in the rehabilitation center, Murmia Bal Ashram. Francalians are involved in education apostolate to impart knowledge and values. Many schools and colleges with a mark of difference have been erected in various parts of India and the world. Apart from the various formal educational institutions, the Francalians also have some non-formal educational centers where people are trained in tailoring, textile designing, embroidery, typing and computers. Printing courses have been devised to impart printing technology, especially to the non-metric poor children. Eucharist is the core of Christian life and a Francalian lives it 
and enhances it by actively sharing this Eucharistic Lord in the cities and in the rural areas.